So this is the LG Wing, and apart from it being a very capable and unique device, it's currently in a weird situation because LG has officially left the smartphone market, which means this phone was technically their last phone that they're probably ever gonna make. So I thought, why not review this device and also kind of talk about why I think LG failed as a smartphone business. Now, arguably the most important feature of LG Wing is the swivel screen. And honestly, it's pretty unique in the way that it's different from most other unique form factors because the Wing actually offers two different shaped screens compared to, for example, foldables, which has basically one big screen when you fold it out. And so as you probably saw in the intro, this phone swivels outwards and that reveals its cool dual screen mode, which LG actually calls swivel mode. And I'll go in depth on the swivel mode in a bit but the cool thing is that even if you never even go into swivel mode, you can actually still use this phone as a normal smartphone, which I think is pretty cool. To begin with, when it's in basic mode, this phone pretty much feels like any other 2021 smartphone. It has a 1080p 6.8 inch display, and although it does have a tall aspect ratio and it's a little bit heavier than most other smartphones out there, I think it's really not that big of a deal. And regarding how this phone looks in basic mode, if you're out in the public, I haven't really noticed anyone look at me in a weird way of course when it's in basic mode and I don't think it looks as weird as something like a Z Fold 2 which in my opinion isn't the best looking phone when folded up and the trend of attempting to also be a normal smartphone continues with the specs in what I would call some okay specs for the price now these specs aren't anything extraordinary for a thousand dollar smartphone but remember it's kind of not really its main selling point it's, you know, of course, that swivel mode that attracts a lot of its consumers. So the wing comes with eight gigs of RAM and either 128 or 256 gigs of storage. And like I said, it's pretty decent considering the other components it gives you. But thing is, I said this once, I'll say it again, I feel a lot of the people who are buying this phone would be getting it for the swivel mode more than anything. So I don't think it's worth making a big deal over the kind of mediocre specs. The Wing also comes with a pretty much terrible in-display fingerprint sensor. I don't know what they did here, but I think something like a side-mounted fingerprint scanner would be really helpful. Now, I know a lot of you are probably really interested in the actual swiveling mechanism of this phone, so let's talk about it. So in swivel mode, besides the vertical screen at the top, you get a 3.9 inch square display at the bottom. And together, these two screens can be used to create some unique use cases and multitasking opportunities. There's one cool software feature which turns the bottom screen into sort of like a mouse and that controls the top screen, of course, although I don't really find myself using it a lot. I think it's a nice touch. Another nice touch, this time on the hardware end, is the soft close and soft open hinge, which never seems to wear down. And I think if you're swiveling the phone a lot, it's something that's good to have. All that aside, I feel the best and most evident use case for LG Wings to screens is the multitasking. And like I mentioned, this form factor is very unique. It gives you much more opportunities as far as, you know, using two screens, but two neat use cases I could personally find for LG Wing was number one, some sort of media like YouTube at the top and maybe like a note-taking app at the bottom or you know, maybe YouTube at the top and Twitter or Instagram at the bottom. I don't know, it's kind of up to you, but those are two things I found that you know is kind of cool. And then there is the cameras which is honestly just very, very confusing. Now, don't get me wrong, I love how much work LG has put into the software of these cameras, but honestly, it feels like a gimmick because the camera quality, like it's, you know, it's terrible. It's very subpar, like I said. First off, there are quite a few unique features LG has worked into this phone and they get activated once you go into swivel mode. Number one is the joystick mode, which it's kind of basically self-explanatory. You move the joystick and it moves the camera without you having to move the actual phone. And if that wasn't impressive enough, you get pan follow, which is essentially an actual gimbal, which kind of stabilizes a lot of shaking and stuff like that. One final thing, like I mentioned at the beginning, I wanted to give my two cents on why I think LG Mobile failed. Now I have three reasons why I think so. Number one and number two was bad marketing and bad naming. Kind of two things that in a way 
go together because if you have bad naming, it's already going to be hard to remember your products. But bad marketing on top of that is just icing on the cake, but in a bad way. Hopefully that makes sense. And number three, reason number three was that experiments that were carried out on LG phones sometimes proved to be really good, like when they created the first ultra wide camera in a smartphone. But other times it wasn't really the best, but that's kind of why experiments exist. It's like it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. But if you're using that on your main or experimenting on your main line of smartphones, I think it's going to be difficult to sell your smartphones because that's kind of what you want to be the safest bet if you're trying to earn money or be successful in a business. At least that's what I think was the main reasons or were the main reasons why LG failed. Now I'm no expert and I think there's some really good videos from some good creators which I'll link down below. But otherwise, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and if you did, maybe like the video, subscribe, either one or both. And I'll catch you in the next one.